Alrighty, yeah, I'm, I don't think there's a whole lot of change here in the market on this Tuesday. Uh, the bullish trend is still very much alive. Uh, the whole momentum to the market is still very much alive. However, I do feel uh, if we look at the hourly chart, it, it just shows it up a little better. You know, maybe I should, no, we'll, we'll stay over here. It just shows it up a little better, but I think we're in a little bit of chop. Uh, rather than that nice little, you know, low, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, that boring, you know, that boring step to the upside. Look how all of a sudden, right over here, we just started moving sideways. You get the you get the pops to the upside, pops to the downside, and it and really go nowhere, and that's chop. Now, by all rights, if if you you know if I was to move all 100% rules, say from the daily chart to this hourly chart, well, I'd have, kind of have to be bearish here. Uh, we've got a blue eyes failure setting up. Doesn't mean that it's going to actually fail, but that's what we have um, right through here. Eh, maybe close. We didn't get the T line or the trend indicator below the 50, but price went there. No, no prize here. That was just a pullback. But all of a sudden, you know, there's kind of a prize over here. It looks like you're getting everything falling down. So, you know, just a little caution in the in the whole um, chop area. I, I was I tried to be very explicit yesterday about chop. And flat said, most people here will lose money if we start chopping around and if you continue to trade. And I feel that way today that uh, overall, let's try this. Overall, really, people make very good money. Everybody does. Look, you can, you know, you, you get the momentum going. I mean, assuming you follow some rules, I guess. Uh, you get the momentum going, you start making some money, but all of a sudden the market gets... A little bit um, uh, a little bit choppy in here a little bit questionable but you keep you keep hammering you know you keep chiseling and chiseling and chiseling and what happens all of a sudden you get some of these these red bars show up in your account okay forget what the chart is look at your account you start taking a loss here you start taking a loss there and before you know it you're still fighting this game and you're just taking more of those losses. So here's here's a scenario. Here's a scenario. So the market wakes up. Boom. Let's be bullish, right? Well, you're still over here. And you're still losing money because it's hard to turn that ship sometimes. So so while while the market is moving up, your shorts that you may have entered, well, guess what? They're moving up too. It's just a bad, bad situation. So what do you do? Every trader's a little different. Um, I'm thinking cash might be a good plan till it settles out, till everything squares away. But anyway, enough of that, all right? Enough of that. Um, let's go look at T21, 22, 23, excuse me. T23 uh, ended up Friday, uh, remaining definitely to the bullish side. If there's something I could take to the bank, um, it's not perfect, but if I could take to this bank, uh, if I could bet on T2123 every single time, the truth is I could bet on it every time. I would probably be a winner nine out of 10 times. Don't fight what this thing is doing. Um, it's bullish. Uh, you can fool around with different time frames. Some other people might like different time frames. I personally like the 15 to 60 minute. I don't fool around with it. I'm a big believer that it's not the indicator itself that even helps you. It's your consistency that you use it that helps. So I'm very consistent about this. 15 minute, 60 minute, that's it. Um, and it is bullish, so it's kind of hard to be bearish. It really is. If we move this to the uh, daily chart, you can see that we're still very much bullish here on the daily chart. Price is still hanging ever so slightly above the T line. And the T line is still above the trend indicator here. So, but we are in chop. I do believe that. Okay, what do we have here? Um, let's see. What might be moving here? You, uh, I believe some of us are in you. I'm still in you. And um, this is a great chart. This came from, you know, this belt hold down here. We rallied up, back down. 
you can see the trend in it. See that momentum trend there, trending nice. You can see price is above the T-line. T-line's above um, the trend indicator. Pretty simple when we think about these things here. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I started putting something together yesterday based on what we what we talked about. You remember we made that list, and uh, I started putting something together. Uh, mindset, you know, is the market. Uh, in the direction you want. Um, does the trade in question have momentum in the direction uh, I want? I should, I guess, change that to I, yeah. Is the setup, I should change that to I again. I mean, this is, you know, for me, and I'll share this with everybody. You know, are, are, is the, you need to change that. Are we near support? Um, support, that's a funny thing. Because what is support? Well, support can be whatever you want it to be. Give me, let me give you an example. One of my favorite scans of all, absolutely favorite, is um, a price bounce off a moving average. In my personal opinion, a moving average is support. So I do a lot of scanning looking for price that bounces off of, say, the T-line support line or the trendicator support line. At the same time, I want the momentum to be there. I want the T-line to be above the trend indicator. I want the three, which is, you don't see it on the chart, but it's all built in. I want the three EMA to be above the T-line. And you see, that gives me that momentum there. So do these, does everything add up? Uh, we'll go through this a little bit more and I'll share my list with you. That was a, that was a midnight exercise for me last night. Um, anyway, uh, take a look at uh, AT&T. Look at AT&T. AT&T is setting up. By the way, this is close enough for me uh, bounce off the T-line. Uh, that's close enough. Uh, this is, well, that's pretty close too. So you can see how that, that might work. Um, you know, bounce off that, that moving average trend line. And you could use whichever one you want. It, look, I love the T-line. Part of me does think the T-line is magic. Uh, but the truth of it is, it's not magic. Uh, it's just a moving average. And it's not, it's not uh, the moving average or the indicator. It is the, um, the consistency that you use that indicator. That is where the real magic is right there. So, uh, let's see. What else might be moving here? Uh, what's TMF look like? Look at TMF. See how we pulled back? bounce right off the T line and now we're trying to break out nothing wrong by the way I've been focusing on that I've, I've been talking about the bounce you know when you're looking at a at a breakout this area right through here acts just like any support line so this area right through here would be uh, support now every trader is a little different so every trader might put that support in a little different place or where you may where you may actually um, say call it. I think we can all say, okay, for an area, that's a supporting area. Some traders are going to go down and use this low. Some traders will use the 50% of this candle. Um, all answers are correct, by the way. It's about you and your trading. But here's a nice chart looking to go higher. The chart absolutely looks higher. Beautiful momentum trend here. Great little bottom. You've got uh, the dotted deuce up here, T line up, or 200 EMA up here, and we've got a lot of price action up here uh, for a target area. Lots of price action. Um, you, did I talk about UEC? I think some of us are in UEC. That's still looking pretty good. You can see how that's trending. The momentum is there. Um, uh, you know, I, here, I, here's here's another. <laughs> I do this at night. I wake up. I wake up in the middle of the night, and I've got a notepad. Seriously, serious a heart attack. Um, I've got a notepad by me bed, and sometimes I'm making notes. So, let me see. I'm, this is the first time I've looked at this this morning, so I could embarrass myself here. Um, tra trading is as simple or as hard as you want to make it. What else did I write? Oh, here we go. Uh, a higher win rate. What did I write here? Can't read it. A higher win rate, win rate 
and uh, controlling losses will create um, more profits. Anyone disagree with that? Let me finish maybe the second thing, the second one. A lower win rate, and let's control profits the same, okay? A lower win rate, and we still control profits, or, or we, we still control losses, will create less profits. And I just wrote simple, right, with a question mark. Doesn't that make sense? Doesn't it just totally make sense? So you've got to now figure out well, what gives you a better win rate. And that'll be something maybe we'll dive into today. We'll look at charts that are moment that are momentum trading, trending, basically, or charts that where we try to pick the bottom and mess around down into here. Anyway, I, it's just one of my <laughs> late night activities. Uh, let's see what else. Does anyone have any charts? I'm sorry. I've just been babbling this morning. Um, really? Um, let's see, Carlos. Ed put up a 17 price balance window, which can be seen in the LTA help support. Uh, did he? Okay. Great. Yeah, that's one of my... Uh, I, I love it. I, I've got... Whoops. I guess I can't do this all at once. Here, let me try to do this. Look, I can move them all at once. Man, that's fancy. Yeah, I've got a 17 uh, price bounce. I've also got a 34 price bounce. Um, absolutely, yeah. Um, I love that. And you know something I realized here? Oh, it's got to be a couple weeks now. Is you guys all know I've got like, I don't know, 70, 80 scans up, right? And do you know that uh, if, if let, me, let me make this into a circle real quick, okay? A circle. So that's not a circle. Um, try this again. Uh, tool. There we go. Clips. There we go. So I've got 70, 80 scans up. Do you know that every single one of those scans, and I do mean every single one of them, okay, all boil down to look for the same thing right here. You know that? The same thing right there. The exact same thing. So... So, um, I mean, I guess we all know what I like in here anyway. And it, it, this is just different ways to get to that, to that, that inside, you know, that exactly what you're looking at, but it's all the same thing. And there's only so many ways you can do it and, and take the, um, the T line bounce or 17 bounce or 50 bounce for that matter, or whatever bounce you want to, you want to call it. It all boils down to that sort of setup. The 3 8 trap, you know, that's all the 3 8 trap is bounce off the T line. That's all it is. Or a uh, price really, 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 really close to the T line is what it is. So, anyway, sorry, I digress there. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, okay, somebody put some stocks. That's good. Look, good. Let's stay on track here. Uh, EV, ENVX. Thanks, Jack. Uh, ENVX. Uh, ENVX, see how we're starting that momentum in there? See how that's starting to work, the trend? I like that. I like that. I'm going to like it a whole lot better personally, and this is just a personal thing, over the 200 period moving average. Too many wicks up here for me. You get through that, and I see something nice. Um, yeah, plenty of volume. Uh, there's all kinds of possible upside to this look at the target on this or targets on this here we've got fifteen dollars for you know a good price target it just take this area where you've got multiple candles right in there 1750 for that price target let's come up here to the top and then go down to the low and let's put our 50 percent mark in there that's going to be my first target main target to get to now there's going to be little targets along the way but that's Right there is what I would look at uh, to get to. Anyway, nice chart. Thank you so much, Jack. Um, XLP, XLP. A trend will stay a trend till it's no longer a trend. It's that simple. It, you know, again, I, 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 li I like what I wrote here. Um, where is it? Trading is as simple or as hard as you make it. Now, and, and we all have a definition of simple and hard. Everybody's simple and hard is, is, is uh, different. I do not see how this is hard. I cannot in my mind imagine 
how that is hard. I cannot imagine how you can make it much more simple either. Beautiful trend. Watch the pullbacks. Watch the consolidations. That's what we do. There we go. Excellent targets to the upside where price has been before. Major moving average. Resistance. Resistance is a target. Nice chart. I'm going to flag that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. What was that? SJM? SJM? There we go. Um, SJM doesn't fit my, my, my little doodad, to be honest with you. It is one for maybe the watch list, definitely, but not one for me. Um, I have no trend. I want that trend. If you're looking for a higher win rate, stay with the trend. I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm asking you to prove that to yourself, okay? Please don't believe me. Please prove it to yourself. I'm not saying this is not going to work out. Believe me, I'm not. Um, we, we can, we can kind of take this apart a little bit. Uh, nice double bottom. Great price action today. Looks like it's going to be very, very active. I am going to flag it. Looks like it's going to be very, very active. Potentially a rounded bottom breakout. Looks fabulous. Just not my thing for buying, really. Not, not right now. At the end of the day, that might be something. But uh, that's my two cents on it. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Gary. CCH. CC, CCU. Try that again. Uh, had a nice bounce off the uh, T line with good bomb. Yes, it did. And this is, this is a nice chart. This is one of these cases where because we've gapped up, it becomes a whole new trade. This has got nothing to do with it now. It's all about right here. Anything below 1250, probably wouldn't want it. Anything above, you're going to wish you had it. That's a nice chart. Let's flag that one. Thank you very much. See how that trend is starting to work right through here? See how the trend is working if we go actually back further? This is just a little normal pullback. But if you look at the trend, the trend is working. That's one of the keys, man. That's one of the keys right there. Uh, Q's. Yeah, Q's. God dang it, Q's. Q's have a little bit of a problem here. So, right now, I have a hard time putting the Q's in a bullish category. I really do. I have a real hard time doing that. And I have a hard time putting them in a bearish category. Uh, and, and I can almost see the handwriting on the wall with me personally. I'm going to put this off. I'm going to kick this can down the road. And these stupid thing, <laughs> stupid thing, this stupid thing is gonna gonna just whine itself to the downside. Uh, so with that said, I think what we need to look at is yesterday's candle. Uh, let's look at yesterday's candle and let's take uh, that whole candle right there. For those that's aggressive, you can trade your direction from in here. For those that want a little more. Uh, insurance, a little more confidence, a little more direction, although well, the direction's there. If we start breaking below that low, that would be a good place to short or, you know, like I say, you short in here. Watch for the breakout. We could turn around. The problem with a turnaround, here's the problem I see with a turnaround. It may have a very limited upside, very limited upside before it starts to pull back again. Qs are acting a little weird right now. Uh, no doubt about it. If we look at that hourly chart, you can see that they're definitely set up for that blue ice failure. And if we end up falling below this low, this is going to be the next low we get to. So that's my two cents there. GLW. GLW's bullish. Flag that right now. Look at that trend. Price above the 50, T line above the 50, 17 above the 50. Plenty room to the 200. We can call that a rounded bottom breakout. It's a nice chart right there. Now it's just a matter of trade that chart based on your rules. Thank you very much, Mike. Let's see, Centauri, and this will be the last one that I'm going to go. Uh, Rick, are the Qs pulling back in a long-term trend? Well, let's figure that out. So if your long-term trend is this, uh, you know what? I'm going to go over here, try to get a clean chart. 
If your long-term trend is this, then the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Now, somewhere along the way, we're going to, if it keeps pulling back, the pullback is going to be more than a pullback. Now, I think what we need to look at is maybe this high right over here. Because that's going to be an important, and actually, I'm going to drop that down. There you go. I'm going to drop that down so we get one, two, three touches, maybe close to a four. So until we break 378.80, yeah, we're still in a bullish uptrend, one I don't like, and we're making a pullback. So that'll just flat answer your question. If you have more questions, ask about that when the market opens up, okay? I do have to cut this off. We'll see everybody uh, bottom of the hour in about 20 minutes, okay? Thank you very much. Appreciate you being here.